Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazeas here from the Automator, and uh, we're working on a really cool tool, I think, to help people switch from V1 to V2. Now, we're leveraging uh, Dimitri, uh, I think, what, a year ago, kind of demonstrated a, a V1 to V2 converter tool. I'll put a link to it here that he's been working on. We leveraged that library to make it a little more convenient. This was this was my thoughts, and here's the thing, you know, which Dimitri will agree with you, that V1 to V2 tool, it's, it's not going to do everything for you. Exactly. That is correct. So basically, it, it does most of the job. There's a few little details where it might go a little bit, you know, it might be a little bit complicated, especially if you're working with GUIs and menus, because those, the syntax changed drastically. So the way how he handles it is still not perfect. So what we did, in, he has kind of like a GUI in which you paste some things in one side, converted on the other side but we decided to uh you you said hey can we make this more simple than that <laughs> like just select text hit a hot key and i got the the conversion the, the thing is and so we just finished our v1 to v2 course on painlessly learning v2 right and me bringing you over and i'm like as people are doing this stuff they're going to want to be in this tool a lot and, and use it and they will thought I, it'd be much easier to have a hotkey to be able to see what it does instead of having to go find the file and drag it and look at it on everything. And sometimes exactly. you just want a little snippet. So yeah, that's right. So if I share my screen, uh, let me go ahead and see here. What you will see is that you will have the executable, of course, compiled in case you don't have auto hotkey compiled, but you have also access to the sources. So you can take a look at what this script does, or you can compile it yourself if you feel more like it. But if you run it, Basically, the tool is going to be launched. That's it. And now you can go ahead and take a look at some V1 code like this. I can select it and just hit a hotkey for now is Control Shift C. And it gives you kind of like a quick preview of the change. Notice that instead of file select folder, how it was in V1, I have deer select and some other changes. Let me, I can just hit copy here. The editor is there in case you want to make some quick modifications, but you don't have to. I just copy it. And now I can go to a file, for example, in VS Code, so I can have the better highlighting here. And you will notice that now I did have the conversion and 99% of it is correct. You will have some issues here, but that had to do more with what I was doing on the V1 version than the conversion. The conversion went fine. It's just that in V1, I was doing a very complicated thing, which was supposedly escaping. This doesn't escape quotation marks, supposedly escaping it. That escapes it in the com spec. So it was something of what I was trying, but the conversion was successful. This is correct. If I do, um, it converted the run to a function, basically. Um, in any case, as you can tell, the script is not 100% perfect. That's why we give you this little window so that you modify these other things. Like for example, in this case, hey, I, I don't want that or whatever it was. Yeah, that's not how I wanted it. I wanted it like this, that's it. So in any case, you can play with it a little bit and you will find that even though you might need to do some work to make it perfect, the work that you have to do is less. That's the point of this tool. It's less but also, work. I, I would say, go back to V1 and just showing the whole thing. And, and what I would say, how I'd be using it is I might get stuck on something like, let's just say exactly, right? Yeah, that message like, box. What does yeah. this do in V2? Yeah. Right. And then, oh, this is how it works. Got it. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. The, the file select folder. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Oh, right. Oh, dear select. Oh, that's it. So, so it might be a very interesting approach to certain things. I actually think we saw one that I was a little bit more, uh, it was a little bit different because it did kind of like a, um, a conversion that I was not expecting. This is the function that I meant. And uh, if I go ahead and create the conversion, as you can tell here, let me just copy this and put it in my highlighter just to make sure that it is a little bit easier to follow. By the way, one of the things that is asked about was, should we use uh, the scintilla control. The scintilla control, yeah. In that GUI. Um, if you guys think that'd be something fun to have that highlighting actually in that GUI, we can we can do that. 
but this is just a quick beta right. testing of it. So let us know if that's something you'd like. That is correct. Now, the funny thing about this is it did the conversion. You will notice that it removed this line. What I wanted to show you is that this part here was removed because it's no longer needed. The way how random works, you don't need to see that any longer. So it got removed, but it lets you know that it removed it. And in other cases, here's the weird one that I was not expecting. Is this file read fed into the string split to get the quote, which I had done with a file read line file read line that's how i did it before and i was like what the heck was that change and then when i went to the documentation there is no file read line anymore in v2 so he's doing the the correct way of kind of like switching that over so the conversion is looking good and for many other things like this one you will notice that now i have quotation marks around the text which is something that you don't have over here so the conversion is working really well and the tool does a, a good job of quickly translating snippets of text uh, that are for sorry from v1 to v2 and i think that's you know basically what we need to at least get started in the transition from one to v2 right yeah so yeah or they might want our course which we i'll put the url up but yeah we just we're just yeah. releasing it now it's available um but it, it gets you going. We have a lot of stuff we talk about. There's a, enormous changes in V1 to V2, right? And V1 is considered decrepit. Yep. Yeah. And so you, it, it doesn't mean it's going to die. And, and we're also not saying don't go convert all your scripts. We're not doing it, right? But you oh. might want to start developing your new stuff in V2, get used to it. You're going to love it once you start using it, right? So That's for sure. This tool will help you, I think, kind of get going in it uh, a little faster. If you enjoyed this video and like learned something, please like the video. It really helps us out. Also, hey, consider subscribing if you want to get more updates like this because we release videos a couple times a week and we're the largest auto hockey channel out there and still growing. Cheers.